Hello, I'm Jeremy and I'm a product specialist at Abstract. In this video, which was taken from a larger presentation, we look at how we can quickly optimize a 3D asset for viewing in augmented reality using the delivery optimization mesh operation. Let's have a look. Okay, so here you can see I have this wooden wheelbarrow mesh. Uh, you can see it's very high poly. It's about a million polygons. And there's a couple pieces here. We've got the uh, the rocks inside the wheelbarrow, and we also have the wheelbarrow itself. And you can see it's a very uh, dense, highly uh, tessellated bottle here. And it actually has some very high quality textures as well. You can see it has an 8K texture map for just the wheelbarrow itself. And then also we have a 4K texture map for the rocks inside. So let's say what I want to do is I want to optimize this, this model here to view in AR. Let's say I'm curating some uh, models for a museum and I want my you know, visitors for the museum to be able to view these models at home with augmented reality. So what I can do is I can use the new delivery optimization mesh operation. And so I can go ahead and select it here in the top. And then what I can do is I can say, well, what is the target platform that I want to optimize this scene for? In this case, I can choose the web or for my case, I'm going to choose augmented reality. And that's all I need to do. I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, start here and we're going to begin processing this mesh. So during this session, we're actually going to break down a lot of the steps that Inslot is doing automatically for us with the delivery optimization mesh operation so that you'll be able to craft very powerful and specific workflows for your mesh processing pipelines. But what's nice about the new delivery optimization operation is that Inslot can do this automatically for you if you intend to view these assets on the web or with augmented reality. And so it's determining things like, you know, where can it optimize the polygon count and where can it combine objects? And you, you saw we had those really high resolution textures, you know, where can it start to merge some of these materials together to really compress and optimize the, you know, the file size for this asset? So it's going ahead and using these advanced algorithms to determine how to use all the different tools in, uh, in Insolod's arsenal to be able to optimize this asset for the target platform, which we chose, which again is augmented reality. And you can see very quickly, we're almost done here, 100% finished. And there we go. We've now optimized this model from over a million polygons down to 78,000 polygons. And it looks fantastic, right? Let me just go ahead and orbit around here, uh, you know, change the light. And you can see it's done a few things here. First of all, if I click on it to view the wireframe, you can see we have uh, significantly less polygons. It's reduced the polygon count. But also we can look at the, uh, the UV viewer here. We have a 2K map now instead of an 8K map and a 4K map for my textures. And if I disable the UVs, we can see we have ambient occlusion. We've got the color, all the textures that we had from the original asset, all up. Uh, compressed and scaled down appropriately. You can even see that some of these textures are now 1K because it figures out, you know, what can it do to compress this even further, uh, depending on the certain maps that we need to view the asset. You can also see that we've combined those two, uh, the rocks and the wheelbarrow together to get one asset here, which means we now have, if I go to my material editor tab and click on the asset, we have one material for this entire asset with one object, which means we've dropped the draw call count down to one as well. So that's fantastic. Also, I just want to go back to the textures and show you that we have that uh, normal map that we've generated here. Um, this is a tangent space normal map, which is perfect for augmented reality. And Slot knows that we need that for the target platform. So now what I want to do is I'm going to show you one more thing when it comes to the delivery optimization mesh operation, which is um, the file size. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the file menu and I'm going to go ahead and save or export this scene here. And I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, wooden wheelbarrow optimize. Go ahead and hit save. Give it a second to save here. And then I want to show you the difference between the original file and the optimized one. So you can see here that we have the uh, original wheelbarrow FBX, which was 465 megabytes, almost 500 megabytes. And then we've compressed it and optimized it using delivery optimization down to just 7.6 megabytes. So it's really incredible what you can do automatically with just a click of a button using the delivery optimization mesh operation in Instalot. Thanks for watching this video on how to optimize 3D assets for augmented reality in Instalot Studio using the Delivery Optimization Mesh Operation.
Now, in the next video, we're going to look at how we can also use delivery optimization to prepare and compress scenes for viewing them on the web. Now, to catch that video and to learn more about Instalod's powerful mesh operations and workflows, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here, we have an ever-expanding library of videos covering the ins and outs of Instalod. And check out our community forum and Discord server, where you can ask questions and engage with members of the Instalod community. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. For the latest news about Instalod, please visit our website and follow us on Twitter. You can find all the links in the video description below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.